Look at my boy D Roy, he's dancing in the street. Oh, this is crazy. Hey, take it to the middle of the street, D Roy. Take it to the middle of the street. Hey, yeah. oh, oh, get it, stupid. You teach me how to do it. You know what? Because all the girls love me. All I need is get the beat. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. D Roy, hey. Are you dead? Did, did you just die right now? When that ice cream truck hit you? D. Hey. D. About it. Yeah, you are. Don't lie. What's up, everybody? So good to be back. And the first thing I want to get at right away is that I'm sorry. I just really love you. Really love my kung fu sound effects. All right. First thing I want to get at right off the top, dude. We gotta talk about this. Dude. All right. Now, recently, God Almighty grabbed his hard hat and went to work in the man lab to create the single greatest creation for all men. And what he came up with, well, it was just downright hot. Like, really hot. Like, Betty White hot. You know what? Instantly I realized that is a different kind of hot. Although she's smoking in her own way. We'll get to that another time. He came up with the hottest creation ever and words don't do it justice. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there's ridiculously attractive women out there who have it in their DNA to crack some skulls on the gridiron. I honestly didn't think it was clinically possible. And I'm not talking about a couple of hotties that can work a five and out and bust a nice little end zone shit. I'm talking about an entire lead. Also, uh, apparently female sports teams don't like putting S's on the end of their team names. The dude who put this lead together seriously deserves a solid handshake, a bro hug that lasts at least four or five seconds, and a cold frosty of his choosing because he put something else together. Every girl in this league is fit. Finding a girl in this league that is not fit and smoking is like finding a member of the Jackson family who can't dance. Hey, you do not laugh at Jermaine Jackson's expense. Only I can do that because me and Jermaine are boys. Hey Jermaine, I'ma kidnap your dog, throw it in my blender, and set it on Fido Shake. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna get that because we like this. All right, I'd like to ask a serious question now. What is this song? You heard this? This is like Italian front square jazz from the twenties. Like, how do you even dance to this? I heard this jam play all summer long, every night in the club, and people fucking love it. No! We cannot let Pitbull do this again. F you, Pitbull. How is the world letting you do this? You cannot continue to take a popular trance mix, sprinkle on your lame ass Hispanic lyrics on top of it, repackage it as a hit. You didn't even try with this one. Those words don't make sense in any language. F ah, 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 I want it. And now it's time for another ponder sesh. Do squirrels have feelings? That's it. That's the ponder sesh today. You think they have feelings? Throw your two cents in the jar. Let's make it rich. And that's it for today. You still want more episodes of iCast? Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or just go to castleentertainment.com for all the latest in Castle Entertainment. And also I have a Twitter. 
So be sure to follow me on that. As much as I hate saying that. I think that's a catch about Twitter. Like, you can produce yourself all you want, but you just have to have the balls to tell everybody you have a Twitter. Follow my tweets! Tweet, tweet! So, uh, let's party. <laughs>